Hey Pisces, welcome back to the channel guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Pisces, I am using the Hoodoo Tarot deck. This is the Root Workers. The, it's, the, it's the Root Workers from way back when, way before our time, where they did Hoodoo Tarot. So in this deck, Pisces, they have it broken down by the elders, the family, and then the community. So the elders are the major arcana. The family is the court card. So the king, queen, page, all of that. And then the family is like uh, ten of pentacles, all of that stuff down. I think it's like ace, six of, six of pentacles, all that stuff, all that stuff, whatever. So Pisces, I do use this book because it's totally different than the regular tarot. And... I don't know. Spirit told me to come in and I'm going to do this for y'all. Holy Spirit for Pisces. For what is in your energy, Pisces, these readings are timeless. So it may not even hit now. It could hit two years from now. You know what I mean? It all depends on your energy and your placement. And because, you know, sometimes you could be in a situation and you can totally change your energy. So it's that thing. Pisces, feel free to put the energies. This could be your person. Holy Spirit. For Pisces, what messages do you have? I'm going to do four across Pisces because it's a lot of reading when it's in that book. But let me tell you guys, it's worth every flip of this book, every word that comes out of my mouth. Period, exclamation points. I'll make it sound good. Pisces, we have the Seven of Pentacles up right, the Seven of Swords in reverse, Six of Wands reverse, Ace of Cups up right. And they have it different. They have coins, knives, sticks, and baskets. All right, Pisces, let's start with the Seven of Coins. Mother of coins, father of coins, seven of coins, up and right. See, down, that's in the community. See, it's so weird. So, you have seven of coins, Pisces, up right. This is a woman bending over, picking up pearls, while the swine she tried to feed them to walk away, walks away. She is surrounded by hobble bushes and wears a necklace made of devil's shoestring, the root of the hobble bush plant for protection against harm. In the upright, this is a return on investment, slow and steady progress, assessment, waiting for results or coming in, Pisces, long-term thinking. You're making assessments, you're considering all the possibilities, and you're finishing what you've started, and you're reflecting on the choices you've made. So, this is a seven of pentacles, right? So, this is someone who has planted the seeds, and it may have taken a while but your seeds are finally coming in. It's like they're coming into fruition. So things are taking, taking flight for you, Pisces, right? And then that takes us to the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Knives, but the Seven of Knives is in reverse, Pisces. So Pisces, in your energy, you have cheaters, thieves, spies, saboteurs, victimizations, hidden agendas, conspiracies, betrayal, deception, con artists, liars, imposters, sneaking away, users, shameful secrets, dishonorable discharge, unethical behavior, and people who pretend to be your friend. So Pisces, you got a lot of people in your energy who don't F with you. They really don't. Because they're lying, they're cheating, they're stealing, they're trying to sabotage, they're trying to talk bad about you. Uh, they hold shameful secrets, sneaking away. They have secrets, they're liars, they're imposters, they're con artists everything because see pisces you're in your seven of pentacles up right so you planted some seeds and your shit's coming in and these mofos don't like you they jealous they're trying to sabotage hope that you fall hope that you dwindle all that stuff right so now you got the six of sticks pisces in reverse that's the six of wands in reverse who are these people pisces i told you it'd be worth the read Six of sticks in reverse, and this is the community. So these are the people in reverse, Pisces. <laughs> Damn, Pisces. 
these people that are in your energy, don't talk about all the effed upness that I just said about all these haters, saboteurs, liars, cheating, da 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 da. Hoping you felt all of that because not only do you have that, Pisces, you also have the Six of Wands in reverse. This is flatterers, people that will tell you, oh, Pisces, you're doing so good, and I like that, and I'm proud of you, and this and that, and they try to flatter you. So you got flatterers, frenemies, who pretend to be your friends, but they're enemies, Pisces. Uh, being pompous, they're condescending comments. This person could be a fall from grace, loss of respect, excessive pride. These are groupies, Pisces. Some of these people need constant validation from others. This is a humiliating, a humiliating defeat for them. People who are desperate for attention and epic fails. So Pisces, because you out here doing the damn thing, you got a lot of people that don't like it. They pretend to like it. They, they, they fluff your skirt, right? Or fix your collar if you're a dude. I don't know. Fix your shirt. They fluff you up, Pisces. But in reality, they hope you fail. They don't like it because they can't seem to do whatever they do. They can't seem to do it. They can't seem to do it. So in their life, whatever they're doing, Pisces, it's not working for them. So then that brings us to the Ace of Baskets, which is the Ace of Cups, right? Let's see, Pisces, what is this? So you got the Ace of Cups in the upright. Pisces, you have compassion, emotional renewal. You're having a sense of peace. You're falling in love. This could be conception. This could be a new relationship, happiness, messages in the water, Pisces, abundance, impact, intuition. You're feeling refreshed. You're surrounded by other spiritual people, and you're healing old wounds. So, Pisces, you're in a good place. But these people that sit between you are mad at you and your good place. They're mad that you're doing well. They're mad that you're happy. They're mad that you went out for that job and you got it. They're mad that you said, oh, I'm going to move into this new apartment in this area of town. Um, and it's a better area than, you know, where you used to live, that you got this house, that you got this car, whatever you planted, whatever you said you was going to go after Pisces, you got it. You got it. So these people here, they probably encouraged you to go do it and to get it Pisces and all that stuff. But when you got it, they got jealous. They got mad. Some of them want to use you, sabotage what you have. And then others, Pisces, they just need a lot of attention. And maybe that's what you're getting. They don't like it. Pisces, these people don't F with you. Not really. And that's why, Pisces, I love this deck and this book. And I don't use it all the time because I know it rips things apart. But when I do use it, I use the book. I don't change one word. And that's what this, that's what they say. Okay, that's what they saying. Holy Spirit, what else for Pisces? What's going on, Pisces? Ancestors is in reverse. John Horse is in reverse. That's two major arcanas. This is the what did I call it? I'll tell you what it was. Or what did they call it? This is the, the elders. So these are the major arcanas. You got them bones. Wow, Pisces, you got three major arcanas. And then you have Bishop C.H. Mason. Pisces, you got four major arcanas. Four. Starting with the ancestors in reverse. Let's get it. Ancestors in reverse. Let me find it. I don't even think I've ever pulled that card, Pisces. Ancestors in reverse. Where are you at, Ancestors? And they don't have it in any particular order. Pisces, this is the death card in reverse, right? In the upright, Pisces, this is what it looked like. Well, spooky, yikes. Right? So, Pisces, you have Ancestors in reverse. So, Pisces, it says... Death is not a subject most Westerners or Western educated people like to discuss. It's an event that will happen to each and every one of us, yet it is considered morbid, weird, or taboo to spend any time contemplating it. It cannot be spring, summer, or fall forever. Eventually, the end must come to make way for something new. 
death is just the beginning of that something. So when the ancestors card turns up in a reading, you're being reminded that the only thing that is truly permanent is impermanence. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to mourn, but you must let go. Life goes on. Pisces, if you receive the ancestors card in a reading, consider the following. Every end is in the beginning. The only thing that is constant is change. Put the past behind you and start over. Learn how to embrace the unknown. Do you know who your ancestors are? What does your lineage, ancestral heritage mean to you? In what ways are you and your ancestors the same? How are you different? Do you feel connected to your ancestors? Why or why not? Do you communicate with and or venerate your ancestors? If not, why not? If so, how? Do genealogy research or create a family tree? Pisces. This is the death card in reverse. You made some changes. You did it already. You put an ending to some things. You made some changes, Pisces, and it started here with your seven of pentacles in reverse. So now that takes us to John Horace, who is also in reverse. And he was John Horace, right? John Horace, Pisces, is the emperor. This emperor is in reverse. When John Horse appears in a reading Pisces, you are being advised to take charge of whatever is going on in your life. This is not the time for self-doubt or weakness of any kind. For if you indulge these emotions too long, you are certain to lose more than you can imagine. The odds may be tough, but John Horse teaches us that no matter how great the odds are against you, victory is still achievable. When this card comes up, there is simply no other course of action but to get organized and then charge full steam ahead. However, John Horace is also reminding you that even the greatest warriors require support. He is telling you that you may increase your chance of winning by having the right spiritual teachers in your corner. Pisces, if you receive the John Horace in your reading, consider the following. Are you following the right leaders or elders at this stage in your journey? Effective leadership requires wise counsel and up-to-date information. How do you protect yourself from attacks, Pisces? Get organized and focus on prepare for certain defeat. Does this plan have a solid, a solid foundation? The law is on its way. The system, stick to your regimen for best results. Stop whining and fight. Every Indian wants to be the chief. What does your father, father figure have to say about that? Pisces, get organized, prepare. Prepare. Get in line, Pisces. Do the work. The odds may be against you, but it's time for you to increase your chance of winning by having the right spiritual teachers in your corner. It's not the time for self-doubt or weakness of any kind. Pisces, don't indulge too long um, feeling bad and feeling sad for yourself. So now you have them bones, Pisces. Them bones, D-E-M, bones, is in the upright. So what is them bones? Damn bones, Pisces, is judgment. It's in the upright. When damn bones appears in a reading, you are being reminded that it's time to focus on what you need rather than what you want. Most likely, you will have to make some tough choices. But if you're willing to put your ego aside and do what you have to, to, have to do, the best possible outcome is guaranteed. Damn bones may be reminding you that people are going to talk about you no matter what you do. So make sure that you remain in alignment with your goals, dreams, and aspirations. Acknowledge that no one escapes judgment, even if the judge is oneself. Damn bones could also indicate that it is time for a more in-depth reading concerning a matter of great importance. This reading will provide relief and solutions to your problems. If you receive damn bones in a reading, Pisces, consider the following. It may be time for an honest self-assessment. What is your reputation? Are you still in alignment with it? If you want a fresh start, start fresh. The neutral position is no longer an option, Pisces. You can't sit still. Do others need to know where you stand on that issue? If so, stop stalling and tell them. Mm, Pisces. 
And then you have Bishop C.H. Mason, who is also a major arcana. My stomach is growling. But no, Pisces, I came straight in here. Did you eat? No, I had water. Pisces, this is the Hierophant. Pisces, when you receive Bishop C.H. Mason in a reading, you are being asked to humble yourself and trust the teachers, guides, and elders of your community. This is no easy task in an age when no one wants to be told what to do and authorities of all type or subjects or deep suspicion or outright hatred. This is especially true if said authorities are representative of so-called or organized religions. While there is excellent reason to be skeptical of anyone attempting to usurp our agency, we should not allow paranoia to become so crystallized in our consciousness that we end up throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Bishop C.H. Mason represents the convention conventional wisdom of any and all societal institutions, be they university, places of worship, or corporations. Basically, this includes any place with rules, guidelines, rites, and rituals that must be adhered to in order to be considered officially a member of a community. The bishop also represents represents unspoken rules as they are often just as important. For example, a person attending a heavy metal concert in well-fitted khakis, a button-down shirt with a pop collar and loafers would almost instantly be identified as an outsider. It doesn't matter if the person is in preppy clothes and all the lyrics to every song that the band performs. It is so critical to understand that no matter how free-spirited the individuals at the concert consider themselves to be, a WTH reaction to the preppy dresser is, indi is indicative of still being part of a system. The bishop asks that you recognize the importance of group cohesion, cooperation, submission, temperance, and conservatism regarding the matter at hand. This is most, not, most likely not the best time to do you. So Pisces, if you receive B -A -C -H -B Bishop C.H. Mason, Consider the following. What do you really believe in, have faith in? Go deeper and explore further. Do you see value in your cult cultural heritage? Is conformity always good or bad? The nail that sticks out gets hammered down. Is what's considered or orthodoxy or the proper way to do things actually orthodox or is it improper to your community? It might be in your best interest to follow the rules this time. Everyone is a disciple of something, but true disciples are rare. Are you sure you understand the fine print, Pisces? Could it be that what is expected of you is good for you? Be you on time for the ritual, Pisces. Get back in line. Teamwork makes the dream work. Follow the leader, Simon says. Woo, Pisces. You got some stuff going on. You got some people that don't like you. Your ancestors are on your ass. About what you're doing and how you're doing it. Are you going to conform? It's time for you to speak up, Pisces. It's a lot of things going on with you. You can't be worried about other people, Pisces. You got to do you pretty much. Holy Spirit for Pisces. One more line, Pisces. You have the Six of Pentacles upright. You have the Mother of Knives upright. You have Two of Knives in reverse. And then we have Eight of Baskets in reverse. Let's start with these pentacles. You got the six of coins of right, Pisces. Pisces, this is charitable giving, generosity. You're you paying debts, you're you paying loans, grants, scholarships, financial aid, fairness, receiving money owed, earning extra money, equality, mentoring, helping others, sugar daddies, baby mamas, and those who care about the community. So Pisces, you're giving, you're helping everybody. Things are balanced. So you're giving to this person, this person, this person. Whoever you need to give to, Pisces, that's what you're doing. So then we have the Mother of Knives. The Mother of Knives is in the upright. This person is very perceptive, Pisces. Analytical, forthright, witty, and very independent. You're also resilient, highly intelligent, deep, and sets clear boundaries. So this is the Queen of Swords. I see, so you don't take no ish from nobody, right? You don't take no ish. Now you got the two of knives in reverse. 
Pisces, you could be feeling stuck in a rut. You could be in a tense situation, uh, feeling uncertain at a stalemate. You have a little bit of self-doubt, making hard choices, uh, prolonged waiting. You're indecisive right now. You're suppressing your feelings. You're avoiding the real issues, Pisces. You could be in an unequal partnership, suppressed emotions, failure to see things as they really are, partners who are only partially committed, failure to communicate effectively, and fence rider. So Pisces, you got to make some changes because you got some people in your life where you just feel kind of stuck with these people because they halfway in the connection, halfway out the connection, but you're suppressing your feelings when you need to let your feelings out and let it be known that, look, this is not going to fly. Open your mouth, Pisces. Stop sitting on it. Stop sitting and waiting that it's going to get better. But you're getting angrier about it. Ain't hell no. Pisces, speak up. I don't care who it is. Speak up. So then you got the eight of baskets, Pisces. And this, this is in reverse. Pisces, you have fear of the unknown. But you also have an unhealthy attachment. Making changes you will regret later because you think you're going to make a, a change that you will regret later. So, Pisces, you're dealing with somebody who has a fear of commitment, a flat lever. You have fair weather friends. You could be abandoning your responsibilities, Pisces, and aimless wandering. You need to get that in check. You need to get that in check. But that fair weather friends, Pisces, that goes back to that first row up there. You're doing good for yourself, Pisces. A lot of people in your energy don't like you for it because you set out to do some things and they're either mad, jealous, they're frenemies. They pretend to be happy for you. They pretend to cheer you on when they really don't give a F because it's jealousy and jealousy don't like anyone, right? Jealousy is like an illness. There should be a prescription for that, right? Because people need to control that. But your ancestors are telling you to kick ass because right now, you're not conforming to anything, Pisces. Your spirituality is different. You're tapping into something else. People probably think you're weird. You're not. You're not. You're not. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, Pisces. Mm-mm. People may want you to join their thing, Pisces, but I think you're going to stand alone in this hierophant right here and do what you need to do. You are helping and giving to other people, Pisces, but you don't take no shit. And you, I think you make that clear. Right? You don't take no mess. But you are in an effed up relationship. It set it up here too. So somebody's betraying you as well as effed up friends. So you're in a you in a messed up situation, Pisces, that you think is going to get better with time because you think you're going to sit back and be quiet and need to get better. It's not. It's not. You're still not happy. Deep down inside, you're not happy, which means you need to do something. Are you going to remain unhappy, hoping that this person is going to change? No. If they don't change, you change. Or you make the change for them. Be like, hey, yo, I can't deal with this no more. Like, I'm out. I'm out. If it's driving you to this point, I'm out. You don't let nobody make the decision about when you've had enough. Because this is a fair weather friend, a fair weather lover. All those things, Pisces, they're giving you just enough. Just enough. It's a friend of me as well. They don't like you. And Spirit said you need to wake up from all of this. Wake up. Stop living in fear. Stop being afraid to move on. Stop sitting there thinking, oh, I've been in this relationship for so long. There ain't nothing else out there for me. Yada, 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 yada. Yes, the hell it is. There's a whole bunch of things out there. And if it isn't, a, even, if, even if it isn't another person, Pisces, there's peace out there. All right, guys, and I'm going to leave this here. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.